I just watched a video and I'm so fucking embarrassed, bro. I'm so fucking embarrassed. This guy was going around asking women and mostly black women asking these women, what would you rather have? Would you rather have a broke guy who's still a father and who's at home, you know, and around for your kids, but he, he broke? Or would you rather have a financially stable man and pay the child support? My heart is racing, y'all. Do you know every last one of these bitches said that they would rather have the check? When a woman has a child, they get a tax break. They get taxes. They get money. They can get government assistance. They can get WIC and food stamps. Yep. Somehow, some way, that replaces the father. And we've gone over the statistics. Yep. Women are being incentivized to remove the father from the home, thus destroying the black community. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. Every, every one of them bitches said they would rather have a check. I get the check. It's not a big check, but I get the check. I give anything to have my kids at home. Anything. Anything, bro. You bitches want the check? You bitches want the fucking check. I'm so embarrassed to be a black woman right now because you hoes want the fucking check. See, the reason why a woman would choose a check over a father is because society teaches black women that the father is not needed. If you go through and you look at other communities of women, you look at white women, you look at Asian women, you look at Hispanic women, you look at Arab women, Indian women, Middle Eastern, African, they are raised to treat the man with the up most respect right wrong or indifferent those women are designed they are raised they are told that you treat the man with respect it is only in the black community with black women that we see the disrespect each and every day a woman doesn't respect her man. She doesn't love her man. She doesn't enjoy serving her man. She looks at that as slavery. She looks at servitude as slavery. And then they seek to get other women to back them up who believe just like they do. See, we are living in a time where women are removing the man from the house. Check this video out and we're going to talk about it. I have a child with a man who's financially stable but won't be in the child's life. Or with a broke man who will be present in the child's life. Am I getting child support? I take the financially stable. They're financially. Child support! Financially stable! Give me the one that's not in the child's life. We good. We got the money. We good. We can pay the bills and help take care of them. Right there, you see the state of black women. A man asked these women a simple question and they all chose the money. What? That's literally all black women care about. They don't care about you. They don't care about you as an individual. All they care about is money. Yeah. Money. 
If you don't have money, you don't have a woman. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for richer. <laughs> for work. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poorer. <laughs> for poor. For poorer. <laughs> for poorer. <laughs> Uh, we hit that snag about 20 times in counseling. Brill made it very clear to Jonathan, you cannot be broke. When I was growing up, I saw black women get with men, have babies, and then they were excited because they get a tax check, they get money, they get WIC, they get food stamps, they get all of this government assistance. And where's the man? Not in the home. Where's the protection? Not in the home. Where's the structure? Not in the home. Women love child support, but it's not going to the child. And hearing women say, I can use what the, I can use the child support money for anything I want to. Child support is for the child. Yep. So she's using the child as a pawn against the father because she is bitter and hateful that she had a child by a guy. Stop it. Get some help. A lot of women use their child as a pawn to get money from men. Child support, financially stable. Child support, financially stable. Let's be 100. A lot of these women are upset and bitter that they made the wrong decision. So to compensate themselves from that bad decision, they put the father on child support. Then they get mad when there is a delay in child support. It doesn't come on time because most, if not all single mothers that have a man on child support are financially dependent on that child support to live. But yet, the child support is not even going to the child. It's going to the mom. But the whole basis of child support is to support the child, not the mom. It's a weapon. Child support is a weapon. Women use child support to make a man pay because they are bitter, they are sad, and they are upset because of their bad choice in a man but you're making the child suffer when it wasn't even the child's fault in the beginning they didn't ask to be here you brought them here because you didn't take the necessary precautions to prevent a pregnancy and now and women hate that women hate when a man holds them accountable they don't like being called a single mom. They don't like being held accountable. They don't like it because to be held accountable means they can't blame anybody else. It's so many women of today's society are single mothers. And a lot of these women are just hurt. They're bitter and they're hurt. And instead of healing, they want to continue to hurt. Hurt people hurt people. So when you think about having a child and using that child as a weapon, ladies, realize that that child didn't ask to be here. They didn't ask to be here and they didn't ask to be used as a weapon that you choose to use them as against their father. Because fathers in the house are needed. They're needed and they're desired. Who's going to protect you? Who's going to provide for you? Who's going to make sure the house is in order? 
Who's going to protect the house if somebody tries to break in? See, that's where the government lies to you. The government can't protect you. They can only give you temporary finances. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You're going to see me right after this on the end screen of this video. Click the next video that's going to come on your screen. And until the next video, peace.